So in the spirit of keeping things fresh while we are stuck at home together, really, it's not stuck at home. I don't mind being home with you. It's just gonna be a lot in the house with five kids all the time, every day. I love being home with you too. We have decided to um, take walks together. Yeah. And today we're walking to the mailbox, really exciting. We'd walk further, but every time we do that, we see some sort of wildlife that really freaks me out. <laughs> I've seen alligators, snakes. There was a really mean house cat once. Armadillos. Armadillos. Rabbits, rabbits, rabbits don't scare me. Raccoons that's bigger than a dog. Raccoons as big as dogs um, that broke into our neighbor's house. Yes. So there's that. Later today, I will be cutting hair. Cut that. Yeah. It needs to. Show them the back, babe. Show them the back, turn around. Show them the back. Look at that, look at that. It's like quarantine. <laughs> that's quarantine hair. Can you not? This cat is following me. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend like he's not following me, so when I look at him, he's looking the other direction, but every time I turn around, he's following me. <laughs> like when I look at him, he pretends he's walking in the other direction. Look guys, look, 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 hold on. My big hair's in the way. There he is. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sure you can take it. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, man, she kept walking while she didn't stop. <laughs> I've been in a lot of situations when I've never been stalked by a cat before. I mean, he came up on us quick though at the mailbox. I was too, I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I almost didn't catch it on camera because I was so freaked out. But nobody's going to believe me if I tell this story unless I get it on camera. <laughs> Welcome to With the Super Family, home haircuts edition. So this is the before. Uh, today we're going to be washing hair, cutting hair. I got you. You're going to do a great job. Okay. Yeah, she I has trust faith in me. I love you. All right. So, why do you have to mess up the kids? You always got to be so weird. <laughs> this is wet. It was like all wet. Whatever. <laughs> I watched two tutorials and now I'm a professional. <laughs> like a professional barber. I mean, we quarantined, so you just got to use what's ever at the house. So that's what she's basically doing. So the first thing that I learned was to comb out the hair. And I'm not gonna lie, I am not gentle when it comes to combing out my hair. It probably just comes with the fact that like, I have tons of hair. I have a lot of time, I got a lot of kids. You're still full on your hair out, yeah. He's not losing that much hair, you guys, look. That's enough. You should see her combing our kids here. They all cry, all of them. Even when I'm being gentle, they cry. She needs to brightness being gentle. See, see, okay, this side is particular. This yeah. side is particularly tangled. And she don't let up. Like she just pulls. <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> oh my god! I'm goodness. not trying to. I could have just used my pick and got it for you. Mom, if you're watching this, please comment and tell your son how the pick does not get everything. Did the barber the the video say like use a comb? Yes, he did actually. Oh, and I will leave the link to the tutorial that we used in the comments so that you can follow the same tutorial. <laughs> it was a pretty good guide. I wish that it would have like showed me a little bit more about what to do with the back, but it's like a really good guide to show you how to begin to like taper and fade your hair. He keeps pulling away from me like a child. <laughs> he keeps going like, do you have any tips at home for the men going through? Don't do what I'm doing. This is not a tear. Look right here. It's, it's right actual here. oil. Watch it, watch it be wet. Ooh, it is wet, but it's wet, wet from right your hair. No, it's right here. It's so full of it. It's time to start cutting, guys. I'm really excited. Um, probably more than my husband. I'm gonna. You're gonna do a good job. I got, I got faith in you. Yes, faith in me. Yeah. So I learned from the video to make the clippers here, this part, go flat against the head. So my hand would be his head. Ready? What kind of hair pick you give me? It's a surprise. Oh. It's, it's, that, it's that quarantine special, you guys. <laughs> I thought you would give me a hot top fade or something like that. We're about to get rid of all this gorgeous wow. hair on top. Wow. I thought for sure you were gonna do like a hot top fade. I have faith in you. I know. I you doubted you yourself? I did. Oh my goodness. I really did. I had faith that you can get the job done and I was gonna have a hot top fade. I, I grew You're still gonna have some sort of fade, but it's not gonna be high. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna 
already it just looks so much better because it's all like the same length they're becoming the same length so i gotta say talk to the adult baby this is a super dad psa Please do not try this after quarantine. <laughs> Just go see your barber. Seriously, no. Support small business. <laughs> Doing my best. We just don't see no blood. What was your biggest joy about becoming a mom? I actually had more fears than I had joys. And the joys didn't really come until after I had the baby because I was 17 and I was really afraid of the fact that I felt like I let my family down and I let myself down. It was a tough time for me. But then I had my daughter and Aubrey just like, she changed the game for me. When you first got pregnant, you were 17. What was that like? <laughs> He's got his interviewing voice on you guys. Um, I mean, I wouldn't. I'm trying, I'm trying I, to give you the, the skin. You know, I wouldn't recommend it to uh, other 17 year olds um, out there. Don't have sex until you're ready to be a parent and have another parent there that can help you raise it. The best way to ensure that you have that is to be married, honestly. I'm gonna start here by lining you up a little bit. This is not by any means a tutorial. This is just behind the scenes with our family <laughs> and what a hair day in quarantine looks like. So what do you get from the ultrasound? A picture. A picture or confirmation of, of our, when it's really early, it's really just confirmation of pregnancy. Gotcha. That's all you're getting. Come together, y'all. It's come together. Just to see a teensy bit of a fade here. Can't see it really. Oh, you lay the cat at the back, you're doing a fade. Yeah. So, is it something like a fade? It's something a like fade? a fade. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I signed up for this. No, I'm joking. You're going to do a great job. I trust you. I paint, so I mean, I guess I can do hair. What did, you, what did you learn from that experience? that like a midwife was a good decision for me and I would have also known to get a doula because that's the <coughs> birth advocate for me and that's someone that I can ask a lot of questions to who's not my midwife. The doula really takes the pressure off of dad or partner, mom, whoever. It takes the pressure off of them to like do everything and be everything for that it's birthing support person. Their support system. It's so great. It's such a great part of their support system. Why would I get a doula? Like, what's the purpose? Well, doulas help decrease your chances of like having a C-section or having complications. We had to take a break because this just happened. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Come with me. While we were busy filming, this kid was getting busy in her seat. We're, yep, we're gonna have to clean that. Daddy's already wiped some of it up. But seriously, something this cute. Mm-hmm, look how cute that is. Made this mess. <laughs> I'm actually going to wrap her to my back so I can continue with dad's haircut because that's how it works when you have little ones around. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the super van. Look at that tight hold on this baby. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys have been practicing for a while and dad's probably gonna come over here to spot me anyway. So this is taking some practice. This is not something I learned all in one. I actually learned how to do the front wraps before I learned how to do these. I need to be able to do it myself when dad's not around and I just need to like throw, throw her up on my back. And I tell her the same thing when I'm like Okay, so I'm checking and it looks like we got a good seat. Yay. So then I'm actually gonna cross this over here. Thank you. And I used to like be so terrified of putting a baby on my back. And shout out to Diana for the beautiful wrap. It is a Diana exclusive. So yes. you can't get this wrap anywhere else. Wrap your baby. Mm -hmm. Wrap your baby. Check her out. I believe it's wrapyourbaby.com. Okay, that's tight enough for me.
after you have one baby, you learn to be a jerk when a doubt though, because you never know what could happen. And I think it's important that the dads understand that you have a role. You have a role to play too, just like the mom has a role. And you should compliment each other. It's really teamwork and supporting each other and being there for each other. And it's 100%, 100% on both sides, not giving 50 50. It can be easy for a father to sit back and do nothing and let mom do everything. And that's not beneficial to the father. Actually, that father is robbing himself of great experiences that he can experience in, in developing a bond with his kids. So teamwork is very important. Even when I was a single parent, I know that it took more than just me. I'd be crazy to say like I did it completely all on my own. I didn't, I really benefited from that help. And so I think it's so important to remember that it really does take a village and to utilize your village, you know, when it's, when it's possible. Now what does help look like? For me, you know, it was my parents. I don't take for granted that my parents were there for me in a big way. My friends, my very, very best friends. So your best friends stepped up to the plate? Yeah, they did. My friends from college, I mean, they really helped me as well. Like there were times where I wouldn't have been able to go to class if they weren't helping me watch Aubrey. It was so funny, they watched Aubrey so often that people would see me around campus with Aubrey and ask if I was her babysitter. And I was like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Nervous because this is the edge. You can do it. Okay, so this is the difference. This side is more blended out. It looks much nicer than this side, which has not been blended out at all. So you can definitely tell like the guideline and everything. I think I'm done. Take a look. Yeah, let's see. Baby wearing barber. Baby wearing barber. Super Gonna have that trademark. Mom baby wearing barber. Is my hair supposed to be a little high right here? I think she did a great job for her first time. Yeah, it's my first time. And I got the tip you? Yeah, I'll take a foot rub. You like my foot rubs? They're magical. Oh, all right, then I guess I'll owe her a foot rub. I'm the one who won. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Um, and if you made it all the way to the end and you feel like subscribing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We really appreciate it and it really helps us out. See you soon. Did you become a mom? Um, I think everybody knows how they become moms. <laughs> I mean, not, I mean, okay, that was a long question. You can scratch that one. <laughs>